The Nightingale by Gerard Manley Hopkins From nine o'clock till morning light The copse was never more than grey The darkness did not close that night But day passed into day And soon I saw it shooing new Beyond the hearst with such a hue As silken garden poppies do a crimson east that bids for rain. So from the dawn was ill begun, the day that brought my lasting pain and put away my sun. But watching well the color grew, I only feared the wet for you, bound for the harbor and your crew. I did not mean to sleep, but found... I had slept a little and was chill, and I could hear the tiniest sound. The morning was so still. The bat's wings lisping as they flew, and water draining through and through the wood, but not a dove would coo. You know you said the nightingale, in all our western shires was rare that more he shuns our special dale or never lodges there and i had thought so hitherto up till that morning's fall of dew and now i wish that it were true for he began at once and shook my head to hear he might have strung a row of ripples in the brook, so forcibly he sung. The mist upon the leaves have strewed, and danced the balls of dew that stood, in acres all above the wood. I thought the air must cut and strain, the windpipe when he sucked his breath, and when he turned it back again, the music must be death. With not a thing to make me fear, A singing bird in morning clear, To me was terrible to hear. Yet as he changed his mighty stops, Betweens I heard the water still, All down the stairway of the copse, And churning in the mill, but that sweet sound which I preferred, Your passing steps I never heard, For warbling of the warbling bird. Thus Francis sighed at home, While Luke made headway in the frothy deep. She listened how the sea gust shook, And then lay back to sleep. While he was washing from on deck, she pillowing low her lily neck, Timed her sad visions with his wreck.